Have you ever wondered if the golf shaft you're playing is too heavy or too stiff for you? Well, today we're going to explain the differences between a heavy, stiff golf shaft and a lighter golf shaft. Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today I'm joined by Jackie Johnson. Jackie is a club fitter here at Second Swing and also a pretty developed golfer as well. So I'm gonna get Jackie to be doing the hitting today and we're gonna discuss the differences between playing a golf shaft that is too stiff and heavy for you and playing the right flex and right weight golf shaft. So Jackie, tell me what golf shaft you're currently playing. I currently play a 65 gram regular uh, flex golf shaft in my irons. Very nice. So one thing that you know always used to come stock in a lot of older iron models was the True Tampa Dynamic Gold. True Tampa Dynamic Gold golf shaft. It's been around for years. It's been as a great golf shaft, but it also is fairly heavy. So the weight of this golf shaft is around about 130 grams. So a lot of golfers may not even realize that they're playing the wrong weighted golf shaft. And this golf shaft, it definitely has a tendency for players that like to be aggressive with their golf swing, like to load the golf club very, very efficiently. Where some golfers with slower swing speeds, they're playing the right, wrong golf shaft. And it's a little bit easier for a golf shaft to hit the ball further, hit the ball a little higher and control their ball flight. So Jackie's gonna be doing the hitting today. We're going to compare the differences between the True Tampa Dynamic Gold S300 and the Ping Ulta CB regular graphite shaft, which weighs around about 65 grams. So Jackie, we've got the Ping I210 iron head today. We're going to start off with the True Tampa Dynamic Gold S300 golf shaft. As I mentioned, it's a fairly heavy golf shaft. It is stiff flex. I want to test that, take a look at your numbers, and then we'll compare a golf shaft that probably fits you a little bit better based on your swing profile. All right. Okay, so Jackie just hit 10 shots with the True Tampa Dynamic Gold S300 golf shaft. First off, how did it feel? Heavy. Uh, heavy and stiff. That's the best way to describe that. But um, I definitely felt it when I didn't hit it well. It, like just the vibration from the shaft itself and then having to feel like I really need to swing at the ball every single time. I mean, as I got throughout, you know, the 10 shots, I definitely got, I could feel a little bit more fatigued as I kept going. So, you know, the first couple shots were not bad. And then the last few were definitely uh, a little bit more off. Yeah, fatigue for sure is a very, very important thing to bring up. Because if you're on the golf course for four hours, it could be more than four hours, you're swinging that same heavy golf shaft over and over and over, it's gonna get harder and harder for you to hit. So that's why it's important to get fit, get the right golf shaft in your hands. So I'm gonna give you something that's a little bit easier to hit now. Your club speed with the Dynamic Gold was around about 71 miles an hour. So I wanna, interested to see what your club speed is, but I'm also interested to see ball speed, efficiency, and height as well. All right. That was hit really well. Yep, that was good. A little bit of an adjustment going from <laughs> half the weight. Nice swing. Okay, Jackie, let's talk about the Ulta CB regular golf shaft. How did that feel compared to the heavier golf shaft? Well, a lot better. <laughs> um, it's you know more towards the range of what I'm currently playing, so obviously a little bit more comfortable with it. Yep. Uh, definitely felt like I, even on my miss hits, uh, you can definitely feel the forgiveness in the shaft. So I like that. Um, and then. Yeah, I hit some really good ones there for sure that I was uh, right on the line. So four of them that were pretty darn good that I was happy with. 
Yeah, speak to those mishits and the, the feel when you don't quite catch it perfect with the S300 versus the feel when you don't quite catch it perfect with the Alta CB reg. You said vibrations. Does, yeah. is, there, is it noticeable? Uh, yeah, definitely. Like, I mean, you know, on the, even on the mishits on the uh, Alta CB, like still going pretty much the same distance on my good ones on the S300. And, the difference in feel on the miss hit definitely is a huge factor for me. Like obviously the miss hits are going to happen and when you can just feel that vibration come up your arm and you know, it almost hurts, uh, is not a good feeling. You don't want to have to have that during a round for sure, especially if you're playing a lot of golf um, weekly. So, you know, I, I like the forgiveness in the graphite uh, shaft. It's what I'm used to and there's a reason why I have it, but the S300 was definitely, I, yeah, I would never play that. <laughs> Yeah, well, the one thing with the miss hits the point that I noticed here, too, we're looking at this last shot that you did hit, notice your ball speed was 92.9 on that one. That was the worst ball speed that you had with the Alta CB Red. Notice that's actually higher than your average ball speed with the S300. We kind of break these down. Now we can kind of talk about the, the differences between the two of them. Really kind of interesting. So we'll notice that you picked up about two and a half miles an hour more club speed. You're swinging a golf club that's a golf shaft that weighs 130 grams versus a golf shaft that's pretty much half the, half the weight. Naturally, you're going to be able to swing a little bit harder. The only concern would be with going really light is does this, is the dispersion pattern going to be well good? Mm -hmm. So that's important to work with the club fitter to make sure that your dispersion pattern is still nice and tight because we still want to make sure we hit the fairways. In this case, it was better. The lighter golf shaft for sure was definitely better there too. Um, so yeah, your ball speed was. We're talking six miles an hour faster. Your efficiency was higher, so it wasn't just so much the fact you were swinging faster. You actually hit the lighter golf shaft better as well. So that's important to note. Uh, if we go over here to the right, you'll notice a little bit more spin. Not too much more spin than the S300, but you'll notice a little bit more spin and a little bit more consistency on the spin number, so actually half the consistency. You'll notice the S300, the consistency was plus or minus 885. With the Ulta CB Red, it was plus or minus 424. And now we haven't taken any misses out at all. So this is kind of 10 versus 10 comparing the differences. You picked up 10 yards of carry distance. So that's, that's, that's definitely huge. And almost about 10 yards kind of total distance there as well. So that's kind of important there to note. Height. The height was different as well. So notice you're hitting it on average six feet higher on average. But I'm willing to bet these are other ones that were carrying a little bit further. The ones you hit solid for sure were carrying quite a lot higher as well. So that is definitely important because that's going to give you stopping power into the greens. So it's important that the player feels good with the golf shaft, but also these, these numbers are just kind of showcasing it. The other thing I also want to touch on here is dispersion. So dispersion I mentioned is very, very important. You can kind of see this on, on the screen here. The kind of the, the big, big difference. The white circle, that's the true Tampa Dynamic Gold S300. This was the best shot that you hit with the S300. Notice you had five other shots that were better than that one. So it's clear that we would put you in a regular golf shaft versus a stiff golf shaft. We'd play something a little bit lighter based on your club speed being around about 70 to 75 miles an hour with the seven iron. Speaking of those uh, categorizations, Normally in an iron fitting, about 70 to about 78 miles an hour with a 7 iron is in regular flex. 78 to about 86 is around about stiff flex. 86 plus is about extra stiff flex. So that's just a good way to kind of remember with regards to a 7 iron fitting. And then anything that's under 70 miles an hour, that's when we have the conversation about a little lighter golf shaft. A flex would be, would be a good option there to you know, help with generate some more club speed and get the ball go a little bit higher. That's just a nice little, little fitting, fitting insight with regards to your seven iron club speed. Keep in mind, it's not going to be perfect every single time if someone has a slower transition or a faster transition or they load the club differently. There's going to be outliers there too. But for the most part, that's generally kind of where we'd fit with regards to shaft flex. So based on you being about 73 miles an hour with that regular flex, regular steel, regular graphite, whatever feels better to you, that's what I would agree on. And that's exactly what you're playing. So that's important to note. You are crushing that. I mean, I know that you're normal, you normally hit your 7 iron about 135 yards, mm -hmm. and you're hitting this I-210 pretty, pretty well there, too. So it was a good fit for you based on your club speed. So golfers, if you're not sure 
what golf shaft you should be playing. Whether you need to make a change, maybe you're playing a golf shaft that's a little bit too stiff and a little bit too heavy for you, come on into Second Swing and we would love to help you find a golf shaft that fits your swing tendencies. So come on in, work with a club fitter in our stores or so online at secondswing.com. We would love to help you out.